Hello and welcome. In this tutorial, we are going to talk about one of the most important Super Metroid speedrun techniques, the Mock Ball. A Mock Ball is performed when Samus lands after a jump and morphs during the landing. If performed correctly, this causes Samus to preserve her movement speed when transitioning from the landing to the morph. The reason this is so useful is because it is the only way to preserve speed after jumping, and this makes many places and items accessible earlier than they are intended. To perform a mock ball, you must run and jump. While mid-air and holding the jump button, you will want to aim down. At this point, if you are not holding the jump button, you will lose all horizontal momentum. You will know your setup is correct if you continue moving horizontally while aiming down. After aiming down, you will want to wait until you are about to hit the ground and hit down again to morph. Roll your thumb to the direction you are going to travel. A mock ball is possible at any speed. When landing from the jump, you must morph at the exact moment Samus touches the floor. There is a fairly large frame window for this, but it takes practice. All you have to do after this is hold the movement direction you intend to travel in. Momentum is lost when the direction button is let go. The most well-known and possibly the most useful mock ball is performed when entering Brinstar for the first time. Perform a mock ball by jumping through this door while running, hold the jump button through the transition, and perform the mock ball any time before the crumble blocks. Doing this allows you to skip the second mini-boss, Spore Spawn, by collecting super missiles early. There are many places mock balls can be used. They can even be used while Samus is using Speed Booster. 